<laughs> Are you saying Vladimir Putin? <laughs> because I have some things to say. <laughs> so hard. Potent meaning. Potent? Yes. That word? Yes. Um, in a way, you hope all your movies are potent. <laughs> and, you, know, you hope they have some force and some energy and meaning. I'm not sure what else you mean by that. It's okay, you can move on. Yeah, more mature. You have to talk to my friends about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, I, 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 I remember saying many years ago that, that my first uh, very personal movie was The Bird, uh, because I had just gone through a divorce, and that movie is about a divorce. Okay, so I'm kind of back. I unintentionally took two weeks off, um, I think around two weeks. I was not exactly planning on to, but I feel like I was like borderline burnt out for the amount of like uh, films and videos that I was making in the beginning of October. I reviewed a lot of films, and then not only a lot of not a lot of films were coming out, but I also felt kind of tired. Not gonna lie. So, yeah, I unintentionally took two weeks off, more or less, but yeah, this is sort of like my comeback. I have a lot of films that I'm gonna review that I've watched at uh, La Fest, the Lisbon Film Festival, which is the case of this one. As per usual, I didn't have time to film in the beginning, like making an introduction and uh, telling you that I was watching the new David Cronenberg film, The Shrouds. You just saw a bunch of clips from the festival, not as many as I wanted to, because I went straight from work and I was running kind of late. Uh, so yeah, but I watched the film and I'm here to tell you what I thought about it. The most interesting or like the good thing about this uh, is that for not all but a lot of the films we have the directors there and this was the case so David Cronenberg was there he and he talked a little bit about the film which made me understand it a little bit better but at the end of the day I was not a fan I feel like I almost feel the same way that I felt towards Crimes of the Future I also watched that one I feel it like two years ago, I think, also at Lisbon Film Festival, and I also did a review, so I'll leave it up here. David Cronenberg was there as well, and he said all, a few of the same things that he said in the other Q&A, but because this one was a bit more about this film, obviously he got into other things, but... This film is kind of messy and borderline boring and uh, there's a lot missing and I can totally understand now why that happened because this was supposed to be a show and he said in the Q&A that he wrote the first two episodes for that show but Netflix didn't want to go through with it, so he decided to make a film out of those two first two scripts. And yeah, that really shows in the film because there's a good chunk that I was like, where is this going? And the honest answer is it goes nowhere, to be honest. like. I, I think I will never forget the feeling of when the credits started rolling because I was shocked at just the ending, how abrupt it was. I was so sure th this was gonna keep going, but I also felt the runtime. 
Uh, I don't even know how long the movie is, but I was feeling it. And at the same time, I was feeling like there had to be more. And there wasn't. And I didn't get it. Like, the summary of it all is that I didn't get the film. I think it has a really good concept. Uh, I don't want to, I don't really want to tell you what it is about it because it's really interesting to find out. I went into it not knowing anything and the introduction by Cronenberg, he also said that he didn't want to say anything about the film so it was a surprise. So that's how I'm gonna keep it but it has a really interesting concept and idea but then it goes into something else that I don't know was just not as interesting and I can't see it working as a show because you can develop it more and just kind of make it make sense but as it is it really doesn't make much sense I like the actors like uh, Vincent Cassell was really good and so were the other actors but he's like the main focus the film also looks good, it is well shot, but something that he also mentioned in the Q&A that I just didn't enjoy was the lack of music. There's not a lot of music and he said it was intentional, but I just wasn't a fan. Like for a lot of the film, I just wanted something to like hype me up. I was bored for a lot of it. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much my review. I don't know if a lot of people like it. A lot of people in there said they really liked the film, but like Cronenberg was there. I don't know if they were just saying that to make him happy. The few reviews that I've read after watching the film were not great. Uh, so yeah I can understand it I think it is a good concept and based on personal experience from him like losing his wife but I just I didn't vibe with it and that's that's really a shame and at the end of the day I'm gonna give it a 2 out of 5 yes I'm gonna give it a 2 out of 5 to a David Cronenberg film yeah, these are my thoughts. I hope you liked the video. If you have seen it already, I, I think this isn't available to a lot of people until April. At least that's what David Cronenberg said. But if by any chance you've watched the film already, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you are excited about this one. And yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!